Hi guys, our video today is brought to you by Full Sail University. Full Sail University is a great college that focuses on new media, entertainment, and music degrees. So, if you're interested in a career in the music industry, head on over to fullsail.edu slash Stars to get more information. Hey, what's up you guys? We're hanging out here with some homeless guy I found on the street. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing all right. I'm pretty cold and hungry. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty cold and hungry? That's why I'm letting you in my house right now. Oh, thanks, dude. It's nice in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty dope. On a serious note, guys, we're here with Attila, lead singer Franz, my boy. How you doing, man? Good, man. Excited to see you again and excited to be back on the road and shit. Well, dude, I want to start off by telling you that um, the porn star name was really cool, but I wanted to mix it up. I found a site called Prison Bitch Name Generator. Wow, yeah. really? And I have a prison bitch name for each of us, right? right? I used your first name. Your first name is Chris, right? Yeah. All right, so your prison bitch name, if you were in prison, let's just pretend we're, we're roommates in prison, right? All right. Your prison bitch name is Skank Cunt. Word, that's pretty fucking harsh. Yeah, dude. I'm digging that. How do you feel about that? That's legit. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Colton, Colton's my friend here. What do you think of that about that, Colton? It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and my prison bitch name, I just used my name Brian, is The Perv. The Perv? The Perv. So you're like hella perverted? Yeah, I'm probably in prison for like having what? sex with an, a 92 year old woman and it wasn't consensual. Is that cool or what? Or... It wasn't consensual. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Mine's, mine's pretty rough, dude. Skank cunt? That's, Skank. That's dope. That's like, that's, I'm gonna change our band name to that. That's what people call us in prison. Skank cunt and The Perv. That's dope. Let's just team up and fuck everyone up. You know, there's an old saying that when you're doing an interview, people get uninterested very quickly. So you have 10 seconds to get them interested. Yo, motherfucker, listen to this interview. Me and Brian Stiles, yeah, we going and we hitting Jews. Damn, <laughs> why'd I just say that? I'm sorry. <laughs> we're, we're hitting Jews? Why? I don't know. That, 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 just, that was really just on the spot. Hey, what up, guys? Oh, hey. I, got, I got their attention. You got their attention. I wasn't even paying attention until you said that, so. Mm. Exactly. How you guys doing over there? Chilling. Narnia. Hey, really I don't know, dude. Seriously, that's just the first thing that came to my mind. I'm not even racist, dude. I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know what that means, Who do you dude? actually want to hit? I want to hit a oh, lot of people. We're going to show Brian our new song. I know. You're going to be really pumped. I want to hit a lot of motherfuckers that I don't like. Yeah. Obviously. Find out our new record. I want to hit that bitch Christopher Drew. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> but well, who else do I want to hit? You want to hit Colton's mom. I kind of want to hit Rihanna because she's already been hit. She should oh. be hit again. Oh. 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 I'm just kidding. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not kidding. <laughs> All right. Fuck. <laughs> we got off track, dude. Franz, for the for the men and le for the ladies and girls and people watching, what is the best way to ask someone out? For anyone watching, what's the best way um, to do it? You like someone, what do you do? Honestly, I think the the main thing that's gonna get someone to go out with you is definitely just like confidence and if you can do something funny, because um, if you're first of all. Don't ever be a bitch and like get someone else to ask someone out for you. That's just total bitch move. And don't be like really shy about it. Just be up forward, you know, like, hey, I like you, you're hot. Let's go out sometime. Shit like that. Like I'm try I'm telling you it'll work if you're confident. So let me try that right now. Hey, you're hot. We should go out sometime. Nah, dude, that wasn't confident enough. Oh, not confident enough? Should be I... like, yo, bitch, you're looking good. Let me take you on a date. What do you want, McDonald's? Okay, let me try that. You ready? <laughs> okay, let me try that. <laughs> okay. Yo, bitch, what's good? You're looking good. You want me to get you some McDonald's? <laughs> yeah, that's better. <laughs> that or you could, you, that could step, ladies? you could step it up a little and be like, yo, Chick-fil-A. Okay, let me it's try like, it one more time. Like Yo, bitch. <laughs> You're looking good. You want me to get you some Chick-fil-A? <laughs> Waffle fries. Waffle fries? And then we can go to bed, right? Together. Together. And nap. And nap. All over that. And if you don't, bitch, you're going to take a dirt nap. <laughs> a dirt nap for a long time. Then you do that. If they stutter. If your penis could talk, what would it say? I love pussy. Yes. Oh shit. What are your thoughts on anal sex? 
Um, it's usually tighter than a pussy, I guess. <laughs> That's true. But, I don't know, booties are tight, dude. Uh, are you talking about, like, anal sex with girls or guys, though? Or both? Both. Word. Word to your mother. Or your father. Word to your father. <laughs> what if dicks had little mouths? Like, I'm gonna fuck you <laughs> What if it had its own, yeah, like, they you're spit. like... They do spit. They spit yeah. out white pee. They don't really talk much. White pee. Do you know about white pee? That's what we call it. It's white pee. It's like peeing, but it's like white. <laughs> it only happens when you're really happy. Yeah, it's white pee, dude. Go make some white pee. White pee in the snow. Are you comfortable with the title role model? Me? Yeah. That's a. That's like a funny uh, subject, and that uh, <laughs> I understand that people do consider me a role model, and. I'm okay with that in certain ways. I don't really think I'm a role model, honestly. I think I'm like kind of the opposite. But in a sense, like music, no matter what you're playing and what your lyrics are and stuff, music does help people get through tough times. So in a sense, like despite the fact that I sing about partying and things that are not so positive all the time, if it's helping someone get through a tough time in their life, then in a sense, I am a role model. And plus, I think a lot of people do care too much about shit and let shit get to them and people get torn up over certain things and I think that me being the person I am and not really giving much of a fuck about anything does kind of help people uh, you know learn to overlook things rather than dwell on the things that make you mad just overlook it fuck it you know fuck everyone doesn't matter live your life if one of your bandmates had erectile dysfunction what would you say to encourage them I'd probably jerk them off until they got hard. <laughs> <laughs> what no if it took? This what if has this problem? <laughs> yeah, we all get boners right. too much. So, what if it took like three hours? To go Honestly, away? I would just no, be like, to, just to get hard. I'd be like, dude, you gotta like reconsider your sexual preferences. You might be gay. You'd probably get kicked or, out, man. We'd probably yeah. kick them out. Honestly, we do a monthly uh, boner check. Make boner sure check. you can get a boner sure in less than work. six seconds. Well. What? <laughs> if, you, if you can't get a boner within six seconds, you get Ow. kicked out of the band. If you took me to Walmart, what would you guys buy me? Nothing. You guys have a lot of girls that throw themselves at you. Do you ever catch them? We normally just hit them because they throw themselves and we're curling so fast and just take them out. Yeah, we usually just punch them in the face. <laughs> or throw them, throw back at them. So they're just like, ah, and you just go, ah. oh. Knocked out. Go home. Good night. Go home. You're drunk. Go home. You're drunk. Bitch. Go home. You're drunk. That's what they say. That teeth mouth. You know it's serious when it, the teeth don't open. You're fucking drunk. Go home. <laughs> That's when it's real. For real, dude. One more time. I'm... Go, Go home. home. You're, you're drunk. drunk. Bitch. Bitch. Fuck the police. Yeah, by the way, I got pulled over on the way here. I'll show you a picture right now. What? For what? For expired plates by like oh, three weeks. Fucking riding dirty up in fucking Omaha, Nebraska, dude. And then I handed them the wrong insurance card. And then he slapped a motherfucker in the face. And they told me... She'll also see a picture of right now. They told me that they could have arrested me. Yeah. They told me they were going to arrest me for it. You serious? Yeah. For plates? For really? plates and the wrong insurance. They don't have anything else better to do? Yeah. Fuck no, not in here. This is Nebraska, Police. dude. <laughs> they let me off with a warning. I told them I was going to let them off by sucking my dick. <laughs> Damn, what yeah, that? dude. Your you're thug life. Yeah. You're thug life. Thug life. So right, thug you're thug life. Dude. You're you're thug thug life. life. Sure. Yeah, that bitch knew what was up. What's the most people you guys have had in your bed at once? Yeah. I've had 16. In your dude, bed? what the fuck? Yeah, dude, it was, it was a circus, man. What did you do? Were you all naked? We were all naked, yeah. Word. It was in Korea. God damn it. You've got a cooler life than me, dude. I quit. Yeah. Let's say, man, it's got max like four. Like four? Um, You've had four at once? That's pretty good. I'm saying, what are we? You said 16. <laughs> I don't even know 16 dude. people, dude. I was about to say, I don't even have 16 You've got more friends. friends than me, dude. I had 16 girls in my bed at once, yeah. Hookers? Prostitutes. Strippers. All of the above. Call girls. <laughs> Escorts.
All right, yeah, we're talking about like, like buying girls for this because we I could, I could top 16. You bought more than 16 in one buy night? 20 girls, yeah. dude. You bought 20 girls in one night? Yeah, YOLO. How they all fit in your bed? They're all Big small girls. midgets. <laughs> They're all midgets. <laughs> With mohawks. With mohawks. With mohawks. Yeah, we only like, yo, real talk. We only like girls with crew cuts. So shave your fucking head and show me your big butt. You might regret saying that. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Every girl is just up. <laughs> Every girl from oh. now on has a crew cut. That would bum me out so hard. Do fans often approach you guys for sex? Because it happens to me all the time, and I don't know how to handle it. You know? Just fuck them, dude. Just fuck them? Give them the dick, dude. Just give them the D. Right there. Just whip it out. Don't you like getting your dick sucked and shit? Dude? I love it. I just like to just get it in their face and just slap them right yeah, there. Yeah, well, that's what you should start doing. Yeah. yeah. Is that what you do? I mean, that's usually what happens. You just, you just slap them with your dick. Suck it, slap them, cock slap them in the face, and then tell them, shut the fuck up. If this is their face and this is your dick, you just go, just like that. Yeah. Over and over. See, that's that's what you wanted. Just, that's what you wanted. Better up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you wanted. Better up. I'm gonna play T-ball with your face. <laughs> Swinging around. Give him a mushroom stamp. Oh man, I get the shape of a dick on my face. Yeah, bitch. What's one thing that never gets old being on stage? Um. Just. The feeling of seeing kids just truly, like, excited and pumped to be here. Because um, I just, I don't know, like, I, I for one, like, grew up going to shows. And I started from the bottom and got where I am. And I know what it's like to be that kid in the front row or trying to be up front, like, watching your favorite band play. And, like, when you're seeing a band you really love perform... It, t it disconnects you from the whole world. And I think just when I'm on stage, even though it's like a nightly routine for me and I'm just like, whatever, fuck it. I look and I see in kids' eyes like that same like look that I remember having when I was young. And uh, I mean, I'm still young, I'm only 23, but I remember when I was younger and that feeling of just being like disconnected from the world and totally excited to be at the show and when I see that look on kids faces I just I'm pumped I'm like okay sweet like this this kid is having the time of his life and he's enjoying himself and that's why I'm here and Absolutely. I'm happy glad to be doing what I'm doing Franz you did an interview you've, you you've toured Germany right yeah okay you did an interview in Germany I, I found this online I thought it was really weird but I'm going to go ahead and read the quote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for one, before you even say what the quote is, I don't know, but they give you, like, an obnoxious amount of alcohol. Okay. And those oh. countries. Okay. Fuck. Franz was quoted in a German magazine as saying, <clears throat> I don't know why he said this, what makes our band great is the amount of raw sexual frustration we bring to every performance. <laughs> what did you mean by that? <laughs> What I meant by that is I just drank a full <laughs> bottle of liquor in about 20 beers and <laughs> I'm sexually frustrated and I want to <laughs> cock punch every one of person of the earth in the face. That's probably what I meant. Any interview done in Europe means I was blackout hammered and some dude pulled up a camera or something and started asking me questions and I un like did it even though I clearly shouldn't have. What do you have. think you were trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Sheer sexual frustration. <laughs> um, I guess I was probably trying to say, yo, if you haven't been laid in a while, come to an Attila show and slam your dick against a brick wall, motherfucker. <laughs> I guess. I have a secret. You didn't actually say that. That was a joke. Damn it. <laughs> I wouldn't surprise you, dude. I was to say, Seriously. That sounds about right. <laughs> I was like, fuck, that one time when I was hammered and the guy started interviewing me, I was like, this is that one time. A lot of our viewers say they get bullied for being different and liking the music that they like. Um, what advice would you give them in, on a serious note? Um, don't ever change. Always be yourself because 
no matter what and no matter how you feel if you feel outcasted or different there's always going to be people who share similar interests as you and um you know like there's always going to be bullies but i'll just let you know ahead of time any all the people that used to bully me and talk shit to me in high school they're working minimum wage jobs and they're still living with their parents so they're pretty much doing nothing in life and they're just in a shithole so the people that bully you they'll get what they deserve you know karma's a real thing and people that are sh constantly shitty to people will have it come to them full circle so if you do get bullied like just don't let it get to you you know like words really don't mean shit how do you feel about necrophilia is that a uh, fucking dead people yeah um if that's your thing do it it's tight <laughs> It's probably not tight. They're dead. Sure, it's probably still loose. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> what would you? <laughs> How do you growl? Seriously. I think that's what just. <laughs> it comes from. <laughs> Sounds like throat, dude. <laughs> like eight more pitches lower, and it'll be there. Like... You either got it or you don't, dude. Give up. <laughs> Damn. If you throw a cat out a window. Does it become kitty litter? A what? Oh, if you throw a what? If you throw a cat out a window, does it become kitty litter? I vote yes. I don't like cats. He doesn't like cats, but I've got a better one. It's a true, it's a true proven fact that if you put a cat in the microwave for 12 seconds, they take a nap. But any more will hurt them. Any less won't do anything. But 12 seconds in a microwave for a cat oh, so makes them take a nap. That now. It's cool. They, I know. It's cool. It That's really fucked is up. A proven fact. You can Google it and everything. So, <laughs> kids, try it at home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey. Disclaimer. What I just said wasn't real. Most of the shit I say is not real. Don't do that. Don't put your cat in the microwave. It's a joke. <laughs> All right. Disclaimer. Okay. We're not getting sued. <laughs> don't put your cat in the microwave. <laughs> Please don't put your cat in the microwave. What's six inches long, two inches wide, and drives women wild? Not my dick, because it's bigger than six inches. But if I had to guess, maybe like a fucking thick, firm cucumber in a pussy. What's the trick question? What's the answer? It's got to be a catch. You? Yeah. Word. Two inches wide. What is that? Two inches wide is pretty good, though. You're yeah. Like, what you're dealing with right there is probably about that thick. That's enough to... That's enough to, you know, tear tear some vaginal walls. Yeah, <laughs> tear some vaginal walls. That'll make them bleed. That's so 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 sweet. Tear some vaginal walls. I know. That's walls. some like very sweet romantic. They like shit. it when you tear their vaginal walls, right? Like that feels good to them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, they love that. Really. Yeah, man, they love that shit. Gonna rip that <laughs> pussy open. <laughs> 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 So they're all about. I'm a wreck that puss. What do you think turns me on in a woman? What do you guys think turns me on in a woman? What turns you on in a woman? Yeah. What uh, do I look for in a woman? Ass. I think honestly, ass. something about you, you like black strikes girls. me. You like black girls. I was just gonna say yeah. that. I like a black something girl? about you, you would fucking like tear a up a black, black girl. girl. Big ass black girl. Big old like booty. That, like, like, Big old booty. You uh, would, uh, wouldn't you? I'm right. Yeah. You yeah. would tear up a black girl. Just, I want to tear a black girl's vagina walls apart. Whoa. Make her bleed, dude. Make her bleed. And be like, oh, oh, yeah, boy. Get a piece of us. Uh, oh, yeah, nigga. Give me that shit. Oh, yeah, nigga. Little nigga. Give me that crack of dick. Oh, fool. <laughs> Just like that. You'd be all about that life, dude. Yeah, dude. That's what I'm all about. Is it or what? I like it when her dad calls and is like, <laughs> <laughs> is like, 
hesitation. Yo. <laughs> Yo, my daughter's pussy's bleeding and shit. <laughs> that ain't cool, Brian Stars. You done fucked her pussy up. She gotta get stitches and shit. What the fuck am I supposed to do about that shit, huh? <laughs> I ain't gonna pay no hospital bill for some fucking your pussy stitches. You better pay that bill and fix that pussy. <laughs> That's what he's gonna say, right? Are there any words of wisdom you guys want to pass along to me? Since we only see each other every once in a while. Um, dude, you, since you fuck so many girls like on the reg, you should just probably start wearing a condom one of these or days. Or double wrap it. <laughs> so. I just, I, I like to go in... Dry? No, that's not a bit. No, it shouldn't be dry. <laughs> yeah, I hope dry. it's not dry. Actually, like don't wear a condom ever. That's my advice. Don't wear a condom. Ever. YOLO. YOLO, dude. Yeah. If you get an STD, then... Get a little star. Take a pill a and... Brian star. Take It'll a... go Yeah, that's right. Star. There's nothing... It's hurt. gonna be half black, too, because of your little freaky things, and Dad's gonna be pissed about it. <laughs> You're gonna have a whole... Yeah, I want you to have a mixed baby, dude. Hands. Next time I see you, you better have a mixed baby. I will. I do. You do already, dude? What the His name is Jamal. Jamal? Let yeah. me meet that little Jamal nigga. Jamal Brown. <laughs> That's dope, dude. Jamal Brown stars. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal Brown stars. Yeah, what's up? I'm Jamal Brown stars. Oh. He's, yeah, he's four. He's a four, he's, he's dude. A you fucked at an early young age. Yeah, I was, I was only 18, and, I, and, her, and she was 36. Sometimes when I fart, I cry. <laughs> After I come, I cry. Fight. Fight who? The girl. You <laughs> <laughs> cry and fight the girl. My favorite sex possession possession. My favorite sex position is doggy style, nigga. Eiffel like Tower. Eiffel Tower? You like when there's another guy. I guess he likes seeing another girl getting a little pound action too. Another yeah. dude getting in. Who do you like the Eiffel Tower with? My whole band. <laughs> it's this new thing. It's called a pyramid because it's like all of us. <laughs> it's called a pyramid. And we just a pyramid. <laughs> we just put our dick wherever. Dude, pyramids are awesome. The pyramid. <laughs> Did you just invent that? Is that even a real thing? The, the we just invented it. Form of, uh, <laughs> it's uh, good. It's good. It's good. It's good bonding time, time with the band. Yeah. The strongest foundation of bonding time. That's when we connect all of our dicks together, this ball. shining light blows up and like gold appears, and we just become rich. It's like Captain Planet with cocks. Sometimes, I measure my penis, to see if it grew or not. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> no, it shrunk. <laughs> when I'm having sex, I think about this. Crying. Coming. And crying afterwards. <laughs> crying. We're playing on the moon for the first time ever. And it's tight. It's going to be a huge turnout. It's already sold out. And... It's going to be sick. I'm going to be the first person to violently masturbate on the moon. Violently. Someone's already masturbated there. Neil Armstrong. You think you did? Neil Armstrong definitely jerked off on what the do you moon. Think they did all day. They didn't just sit there and. I know. You think did, about. Totally didn't think it'd be cool to be like. Watching think about it. how cool it would be to jizz in space. God. That's that should be a real or question. Be the first person because it would to come out in and it would just Lord. it would just float, and then hopefully it would just hit the girl astronaut's face and oh, just to, to make stick the first, forever. The first porno in outer space. That'd be sick. Dude, that's for real my goal now. I quit Attila. <laughs> All right, we're going to finish off, guys. This is called Fifty Shades of Grey. Have you heard of it? Um, no. It's a book that's been called Porn for Women, since they don't watch real porn. God. So they read about, they read about it. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Romantic. Which, uh, which one? Oral, oral sex. sex. All right. You got to lean over so you can uh, I don't know how to read. Um, I pull him deeper into my mouth so I can feel him at the back of my throat and then the front again. My tongue swirls around the end. He's my very own Christmas gray flavored popsicle. I suck harder and harder. Hmm. My inner goddess is doing the merengue with some salsa moves. Alright. I'm gonna start texting that. This is chicks. horny. This is like <laughs> I'm just gonna buy the book and text This is this is really just like the horniest shit ever, but they, they put it in like girl terms, so you wanna try it? They refer to salsa to the salsa.
I've days. read this book. I know it by heart, actually. Okay, you do the fourth kidding. one. Fourth one. Uh, as I decided to put it in her butt, her dad walks in, comes in, starts jerking me off, and then starts having sex with the daughter, I guess. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Damn. Nah, I'm just kidding. Dude, that's, that's a crazy disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> That's so hot. At the touch of leather, I quiver and gasp. He walks around me again, trailing the crop around the middle of the body. On his second circuit, he suddenly flicks the crop. Flicks the bean. Flicks the bean. And it hits me underneath my behind against my sex. It's weird. The shock runs through me and it's sweetest, strangest. I don't know what that word says. I don't know. Heat something. Feeling. My body can. <laughs> no, I'm, <laughs> I'm illiterate. My body convulses at the sweet, stinging bite. My nipples harden and elongate from the assault. I didn't even know that could even happen. And I moan loudly, pulling on my leather cuffs. Dude, fuck this book, dude. This book is, like, hot. Girls think that shit's going to be all romantic and horny like that. That shit ain't true, dude. Fuck this book. Burn it. Throw How it, is it throw really going to go down? Let's, let's just make our own version. All right. Oh, God. <laughs> all right, so I pulled her fucking tits out and grabbed that shit, and then I pulled the panties right off and ripped them off. And then I don't put my dick in, and then I fucking squirted on her face, and she cried, and then she went home, and I said, "Fuck you." Don't and me again, bitch. that was that was page six hundred and sixty-six, and uh, yeah, this is my book. Gotta get warmed up. Franz is getting warmed up. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had an honest answer for you. Do you know if within the room it's even done? I don't have a clue. I'm about to just go inside. So. Is it almost time to pre-jerk? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, we jerk, I, I we already jerk already off pre before we go inside. Yeah, you're I, supposed to pre-jerk on camera. I already pre-jerked, so... Oh, word. Well, I haven't pre-jerked yet, so... Do you need help, or are you good? <laughs> Do you want the pre-jerking tool? Yeah, you need the rope. Alright, you hold one in, I'll hold this other one, ready? It just like helps, you know, you gotta like, it's like a workout too, you know. Are you nervous to play? Dude, I'm so nervous, I've never played a show before. Do you yeah. have any advice for me, Brian? Um, if there's a girl in there, focus on her boobs. And finger her? Finger her. During the, during, while you play, finger her. Get on your knees and just finger her while you play. I came up with the new saying. I'm gonna start saying uh, on stage. Okay. Everybody in this fucking crowd, take your right hand, put it in the air. Now take that right hand and grab the dick of the person next to you and jump up and down. Jump, jump. <laughs> Everyone jerks each other off. <laughs> what is that tattoo on your neck? That's my son's name, Blaze. You have a son? I did yeah. not know that. I have a very cute little boy. How old is he? He is 16 months old. Aww. About to be 17 months. What's it like to be a dad? It's awesome being a dad. It gives you like more reason to live, you know? And more reason to do well. Has it changed you? Only for the better. I'm still crazy, but I use it to my advantage. If yeah. you're gonna get, If you're gonna be crazy, at least get paid for it. Do you think... You're, are you worried that your son is going to realize how crazy you were when he's grown up? Nah, I think he'll just be stoked as shit that he has the coolest toys. <laughs> <laughs> just be thankful. Yeah, you'd, you'd be a cool dad, right? Let him go to parties? I mean, cool to an extent, you know? I'm, I'm still going to raise him really well, and I'm not going to let him be, like, too crazy, you know, but... You're going to be a responsible dad. Yeah, a good dad. And... 
it's fun though. Like honestly, like I've got a lot of friends who have kids, and it's definitely like you know if you think about all the things about life, like like this year for instance like me like losing like a couple friends like dying you know and like that's like a really tough part of life but it's like like you know people die when you have a child it's like the opposite you know it's like the best part of life so it's it's pretty cool like it, it kind of brings like a whole new meaning to things and um you know I don't know I don't really know what else to say it's just an awesome thing it's it's definitely like you know before like my breaks off tour like weren't weren't nearly as cool like you didn't enjoy you know, them as much yeah and it's like now like I spend every moment with my son and it's like badass it's it's fun and you look forward to your breaks yeah I look forward to my breaks more like I'd rather have breaks than be on tour so it's pretty dope have a kid dude when are you gonna nut in a girl dude when am I gonna anoint a girl when are you gonna nut in a girl like oh white pee white pee Someday, man. I want to see a little mix baby, dude. <laughs> Make it happen. Sorry for the light. It's the only way I can see. The light's too dark. It's all good. Some people hate this light. <laughs> Come on, girl. Let's go. <laughs> so cold out here, dude. What are you doing out here? It's Nate and Colton. Hey, yeah. what's up, YouTube? Yeah, hey, what's up, guys? guys? Just had a wonderful day with Attila. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Wonderful. Who did you blow first? Oh, all the members at once. Actually, it was just a cockfecta. 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 I put them all in at once. Fuck. Come on, man. You have a show to play. Hurry up. There you fucking go. Fucking goddamn it, fucking bitch. Real quick, real quick. I'm not even trying to bug you for that long. I'm not even trying to bug you for that long. Even you. You guys, Tilla, right? Yeah. Yep. yep. I'm a Tilla. Well, I just turned 21. Took 20. 30 bucks out of my savings and I went and got this for you guys. I know you guys are a bunch of party dudes, like to Let's fucking see. make music. Oh what shit, that? that's a Tilla tat. Yeah. It's a crazy fucking world and there's no one left to trust. As people, we have voices, leave the traitors well, in the dust. I got it for you guys. I really, I mean, I know you guys like to make fucking music and party and shit all fucking time. Thanks. That's what oh, I fucking yeah. like to do. Dude. I love to see that shit. Dude. You're welcome, dude. And, dude, I know, I might not, I don't have any weed on me right now if you guys want to fucking smoke later. Go, I can go get it. That's a bet. You dude. want? Let's smoke up, homie. You want smoke? Yeah. And Let's thank you, smoke. thank you for that tat, dude. I know you guys are just a bunch of dudes like to party, and make music, man. Yeah. Exactly. I've been getting drunk since I got here. The only reason why I got drunk so I can fucking tear shit up at your show. Word. Well, happy Excited. birthday, homie. I'm gonna go in there and get ready because we're playing in like five minutes. So. Dude, yeah. I don't know. Dude, they took a little bit longer to set, but. Dude, thanks for coming out tonight, dude. I never up, get a fucking happy go to show. Birthday, All I do is happy work, birthday, man. Like a fucking lame ass human being. You guys yeah. be here? <laughs> Love seeing it's you guys good, play. Dude. I know you got to hustle. It's Third time life. in a row seeing you guys show here. Fuck I'm excited yeah. to hear this shit. It's going to be tight. Dude, awesome. dude you're going to have to Fuck. Massive women! Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. You're in a tilla, man. Yeah, I'm in a tilla, man. <laughs> dude, this is awesome. Dude, we're, famous. we're famous now. That was pretty tight. They thought you were. Uh, they thought we were in a tilla. I know. Well, yeah. The guy. The guy thought that you guys were in a tilla. But he he was... thought all three of us were in a tilla. <laughs> Yo, we're all Attila, but that was tight though, that he had that fucking Attila tattoo. That was sick, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to expect at first, because he was like, he had that approach like the, yo, yo, hey dude, sorry to bother, sorry, like, it's like, alright, what are you gonna ask, like, you're trying to ask us for weed or something, or what, but that was tight, dude, he had a cool Attila tattoo. I'm just pretty excited that he thought I was an Attila. Because, I mean, look at me. I'm wearing a blue Air Apostle hoodie. Yeah, look at look at us in the comparison. Like, you'd be the oddball out right now. We'd be yeah. like, yo, Brian, you gotta step out that stage gear, yo. Totally did. Prove it. Prove it. He peed in the trash can last night. He's a liar. Dude, he peed in the trash can last night. I in your ass last night.
Get a few shirts here real quick. Dude, yes. Dude. What the fuck happened to you? I don't know. I don't care. Hey, hey, Whose show are you at? Huh? Whose show are you at? What do you mean? What band? I was here to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah! You, you guys in Berlin, man. Word. Well, yeah. Instagram. Say cheese. Smile. Uh, Until the fans go hardcore, man. Can I get you with my guitar? No. Okay, because I hit someone really hard. Somebody time. elbowed me in the nose, dude. My ass fucking. I re broke my hand tonight. I don't actually hit him. No. Yeah. I need to go, go heal up this week, dude. Fuck, no. I got told I could come to The fucking rules. I got no screen. Well, it was nice to meet you guys. I'm not supposed to be back here, but. Fucking. Can't wait to see you guys again. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's show and a big shout out to Full Sail University for sponsoring today's interview. And remember, if you're interested in a career in the music industry, head on over to fullsail.edu slash Stars to get more information. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. Hey, what's up, you guys? We're hanging out here with Asking Alexandria, the very tired all-time low. We're hanging out here with Black Veil Brides. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and get you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? No. Maybe that wasn't you? Oh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. How long is this nose you have here? I have no idea. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. I am a ninja. You need to know. Oh. If you were a porn star, what would your name be? Mine would definitely just be the jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Our new song, you know, right? Uh, party like it's. Oh, God, oh, God. Like my balls, yeah. You guys see my balls? You know, and they're like, wee! <gasps> All right. <laughs> I'm like crying. He's crying. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe for brand new videos every day. Reporting for YouTube, I'm Brian Stars. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.